So this is the Blue Devil Ocean Engineering System Overview. We can see up here we have three main components, the sonar, the winch buoy, and the drone that picks them up. Down here we see a little image of the drone coming down, picking up the buoy and flying away with it, or dropping down the buoy to take sonar readings. Um, this is what our sonar pod is supposed to look like. It's a side view. It's uh, got three uh, receivers and a central transmitter and a central uh, epoxied electronics module. This is the circuitry inside the sonar. There are three A to D converters that feed into three Raspberry Pis and there's a transmitter that uh, sends out pings that's received by these. These are recorded and then used later. Here's the transmitter circuit that we've built. This is ready for epoxying. It has all ceramic components so that it can survive the high pressures. Here's some data of the ping. This is a part of the receiver circuit. There's Raspberry Pis up here, A to D converter board, and the uh, logic uh, capture board. Here's some ping data. Here's a picture of the overall um, from ping ping data. Here's some ping data taken with that receiver system and testing in a lake, showing that we get echoes. Here's the overall system. Um, you can see one of the logic analyzers stripped down to its epoxyable components. Um, this thing's all been epoxied and stuck in this module here, which is awaiting epoxying into a complete final module after it's been fully tested and verified. We've done some testing in a lake at Duke uh, and shown that we can get 600 meters of range, including going under this 600 feet of range, including going under this narrow bridge. So our range is good. We've done some lake testing and we're still analyzing the data from these lake tests. This um, this was one of the things that held us up as our lake testing data was not as good, not conclusive at this point. Uh, this is the float that the sonar would be winched down from. Um, and hopefully this will now show a video of the winch operating. It's here, the, you see the winch, it's pulling up this cable onto this wire. And then here you can see it lifting a backpack so it can lift the weight that we need. This winch gets installed into the float system. There we go, it's winching up. It's a battery operated winch that can raise and lower the sonar system for synthetic aperture sonar data. Um, part of the winch mechanism requires that we load the 4,000 meter um, fishing line onto the spool in a way that it doesn't bind. Our drone that does the recovery, this is the current state of the drone. It's got two gas electric hybrid engines, uh, eight large rotors. We have another smaller drone that was the one that was tested when the XPRIZE came to visit that has um, uh, a slightly different configuration. This one is more efficient. We had an opportunity to buy gas electric, uh, gas electric generators that would not quite as produce as much power as the other drone required, so we built a more efficient drone that could fly with the four kilowatts of power generated by these generators. Um, here's a test video. This shows it um, flying. It also shows at the end of this flight, it's running off gas electric hybrid. We were still having stability problems, uh, and you'll see it goes unstable shortly. And this is part of why we didn't go to Greece. Um, stability problems we think can be solved. Um, it's tuning the parameters. It, it turns out this is built entirely from 3D printed parts and so it's very quick to rebuild and has been rebuilt since then. And I think when the XPRIZE came to visit we had a crash and rebuilt for the next day. So it's uh, relatively easy to rebuild. We hope we'll get the eventually get this working properly. Um, to recover the buoy from the with the drone, we use a, a um, artificial intelligence-based vision system that identifies the drone, 
and flies around and and uses then uses these um fiducials on the drone to get very precise within a centimeter location for covering the drone once we do that we lower this device into the top of the floating chamber and it picks it up this th there's a servo at the top here that uh, activates it so that we can recover the device that's the summary of the overall operation and where we are right now um, thank you